Ah, oh, geez, here we go again. Wait a minute, why was the drywall installed before the windows? Welcome back to Building Resilience, the show about whole house solutions for extreme climate, healthy homes, and sustainability. This time, we're going to install some windows like you've never seen before, featuring what Pella calls the Steady Set system, which means you install them from the inside. We've been installing windows for a long time, three decades actually, and rarely have we come across an innovation that totally changes how we install the windows. And now we have not just one innovation, but six innovations on a single window that completely change how we install windows. The first thing I notice when I look at this window, which looks like an ordinary wood window, are these brackets all the way around the window. This is the flip and click bracket. And the purpose of this bracket is to allow us to install the window to the inside of the framing. We take the clip, slide the bracket into the receiver like this. It locks into place. And now whoever installs this window from the inside, when they slide it in, it's gonna be in exactly the right location. So all that monkeying around where a window's a little bit in, a little bit out, that's gone. Most importantly, with this system, we're installing from the inside. We're not carrying windows up ladders. We're not messing around on scaffolding. All of that difficult work that has traditionally taken place on the outside of the building is gone. We have a very simple, very safe, and consistent installation for these windows. The next thing I noticed about this window were these little metal fingers sticking up from the top of the window unit. This is called a head stabilizer. Now, normally when we install windows, there's two people, right? Someone's holding the window while the other person is adjusting and screwing it off. With this, it allows for one person to pick up the unit, granted they can pick it up, and set it into the opening where these engage with the wood framing above and keep the unit from tipping back out. So now one person can set, adjust the unit without needing two people there, secure it, screw it off. It's a much simpler uh, installation. On the bottom of the window is another innovation. This is a sill shim. So imagine you're sliding the window into the opening. This guide will ensure that the window is held exactly a quarter inch off of your framing so that you can get your insulation in here. And if your framers are any good, when that, level, that sill is already gonna be nice and level, so when you slide the window in, you're ready to go. Now over here on the side, we have these shim guides. So this little piece of plastic is pretty cool. On tall units where there's some bowing that can occur and you need to square things up, you can take a shim and this tells you exactly where you should place your shim. You slide it through and if you didn't have this, you might shim and hit the flashing flange. This holds it up so that you go right past the flashing flange. Once this is adjusted, you screw off at the bracket, you remove the shims, and this is the truly revolutionary part. You can now get a continuous bead of insulation all the way around the window without the shims interrupting it. Speaking of flashing flanges, this is a flashing fin. And we have these fin guards that we remove after we install the window, not before. And then we unfold this. Now this is a fully integrated flashing fin which is remarkable. It's a substantive change from how we've done it in the past. And previously the challenge has been getting our flashing tapes onto the frame of the unit itself. With this system, as long as my flashing tape is somewhere on the yellow, I'm good I'm fully flashed. The other, those silly styrofoam corners are gone. Instead, we have a rubberized connection here, nice and flexible, nice and watertight. And at the bottom, we have a subtle geometry on that bottom uh, fins that allows for any water that gets in there to get back out again. Sometimes we have unusual walls that aren't two by four or two by six. Sometimes, like in this instance, we've both had to add material to the interior and we have foam on the exterior. And for everybody who's worried about exterior foam and what that means for setting windows, this, this is the solution that makes it all super easy. Because we're installing to the inside, we're not gonna be putting out bucks, we're not gonna be messing around with anything out here, there's no thermal bridging. And in order to figure out where to set this, it's pretty simple. We have one bracket that we set on the outside, another one from the inside, 
And this little slot key tells us exactly where we need to be. We mark that. And then we transfer that across all of our brackets. And when we go to install them, we're gonna slide that bracket in right to that mark and we good. Okay, back to that drywall thing. The window manufacturer does not recommend installing the drywall before the windows, but we film these shows on real projects with real clients and real construction timelines. Sometimes the project manager has to keep things moving forward while they wait for the film crew. No matter how many times you tell the drywall installer to hold the material off the opening, if you aren't on site to enforce it, you might be doing this. The first step is to flash the window openings using some kind of flexible flashing at the sill. The jams don't require flexible flashing, but flashing should bridge all the layers, sealing the WRB to the framing to stop unwanted airflow through the assembly. As always, flashing material should overlap shingle style to continually direct water out and away from the structural parts of the house. Because Steven wrapped the peel and stick WRB into the opening, he only needs to seal the edges of the top to stop air leaks up here. And because peel and stick WRBs stick after you peel them, they stop air like flashing tape does. Now comes the fun part. Let's see if Steven can set all the windows in the holes before Joseph and David can fasten them in place. Yes, he can. Though the competition's a little bit unfair because groups of windows need to perfectly align so the trim works out, and aligning windows properly is no place to race. In this small studio unit, the trim really needs to align because it'll be wildly noticeable if it doesn't. So they set up a laser to guide exactly where the window bottoms should sit. The air shim makes setting the window at the correct height a lot easier and then the brackets are screwed into the framing. Joseph plumbs the window and then screws off the top brackets. Tall windows are no different, except they're a lot heavier. Rather than setting up a short scaffold or climbing up step ladders, they carry it inside and stick it in the opening. Again, the air shim lifts the heavy window easily with no extra hands needed. So after lifting the window into the opening, it's back to a single person operation. Outside, Steven removes the flashing fin holders and extends the fins out to receive flashing. Again, flashing the sides first. You only need to hit the yellow part of the flashing fin because it's secured to the window frame with a neoprene gasket. The old days of wrapping the flashing onto the frame are over. With the sides flashed to the WRB, the top flashing is added so that flashing overlaps correctly. He rolls the flashing tape with a roller because it says so right on the tape. The bottom's left open for drainage should any water find its way into that opening. The last step is adding the drip edge provided by Pella. David measures the sash in the window frame cuts the stock at the chop saw, slips the drip edge in place, and taps it home with a mallet. These triple glazed windows are a resilient addition to this house because of their energy performance, but the upgraded installation features ensure that the energy performance won't get sabotaged before the homeowners even get to move into the space. If you like that problem solving product, wait till you check out Great Stuff's newest product, Wide Spray. The distant spraying action makes sealing gaps a lot easier. Problem solving products and smooth installation is what building resilience is all about.